Hey, kid. Do you want to know a you want to know a secret? You want to know one? I got I gotta think of one. So stay to the end of the video, and I tell you. This is me hitting the gritty under a ladder because I never believed in bad luck superstitions. <laughs> so I did them all. Then tested my luck through a series of events, which ended with scratch off tickets that could be worth thirty seven thousand dollars. But before we get there, we need to see the process of how the hell I gave myself two hundred ninety four thousand one hundred seventeen years of bad luck. Starting with the ladder superstition. If you walk under a ladder, it's supposed to give you seven years of bad luck because the ladder represents the holy trinity or something and I have no idea what that is so I'm sorry if I pissed you off how am I supposed to walk under this I'm gonna have to get really low to hit the gritty under this thing I think hitting the gritty would be like very disrespectful to the holy trinity or whatever I'm whatever's cursing me so I'm gonna walk over walk under it once get seven years of bad luck then I think if I hit the gritty under it I'll get like 15, 14 maybe Let, let's see if let's see if it doubles <laughs> Jesus be Christ. Seven years of bad luck already. Oh my god. Oh my god. Two bees are having a fight in my in my radius. I'm going to hit the damn gritty. Ow. Okay, I'm gonna put you through the ladder as well. Okay, time for you to go under. Seven years of bad luck for you. That's 21. That's 21, I mean. Come on, now I got. 21 years of bad luck. 21. What if I do this to the ladder? How many years of bad luck will I... Oh, hold on. Sorry, guys. Got a little close there. What if I do this to the ladder? Ugh. Ow! I'm putting the ladder down. Oh, God. That brought my total to 21 years. So next, I grinded a bunch of salt onto the ground because this guy called Judas spilt over some salt in the Last Supper painting, and it's supposed to bring you five years of bad luck. Always gotta keep a double pair on you. They call me the salt shaker. Right. 30 years of bad luck for this, for this bad, for this guy. Okay, yeah, I got 51 years of bad luck. I'm gonna be bad luck until I'm 71. But we're gonna go, we're gonna push that into the afterlife. See if I go to hell. Oh, I probably shouldn't. I had 51 years of bad luck now. So I got 20 pennies and put them all tail side up because the tail side is evil and the head side is good. Uh, who the hell even made that up? Anyways, it's one year bad luck per penny. Ugh. All right, fella named Daniel. I got me some 20 coins right here. I'm gonna give you a little show. Not like, like a, I'm gonna show my penny, penny. Oh. Okay, as you can see all these peeny, peeny weeny. Each one of these pennies is one year. All of them are one year of bad luck. So I got 51, this will bring me to 71. Take that. My total is now 71 years of bad luck. And so after that, I put my shoes on the table. Which seems normal, but coal miners used to do this when a fellow miner died in an accident. So for some reason, it gives you six years of bad luck. Take that, miners. Uh, I'm putting my shoes on the table. Isn't that disrespectful and such bad luck? I think I deserve six years of bad luck for this. 77 years I got right now, 77. Also, guys, rate my Crocs, rate my gibbet. I don't even know what it is. Sorry, guys. 77 years of bad luck. And at this point, I will be unlucky for the rest of my life. But we gotta keep pushing, so I broke a mirror to give me seven more years. Kinda. I have to break a mirror. I don't have a mirror, but I'm technically looking at a mirror right now. You thought I- If I had one word to describe you guys that's watching, it's bajuki. <laughs> the total is now 84 years. So I went to open up some umbrellas inside, and it's seven years of bad luck per umbrella. Hello. I'm in the garage, and I have a felony in Washington, Maryland, in South Nebraska. I'm gonna start opening umbrellas to give me bad luck. Hey, hey! Don't, doesn't that look cool? Okay, that's one. Two. Five. Huh? Oh, sorry, I'll open it again. 
guess that's three. I mean, yeah, three. And we got number four here. I'll do it like this. <laughs> you can't see me. I'm going to take my clothes off. Going into the final superstition, I had 112 years of bad luck. Yeah, which means I am going to be haunted in the afterlife. But our last one is putting your hat on your bed after wearing it outside, which will curse your bed with the evil spirits of your head. This hat has been on my head and it's been retracting, I mean contracting evil spirits from my scalpel temple. And now, put them on my bed because it'll put all the evil spirits in my bed and then I get to sleep with them. Uh, wait, I don't really know how this- Woo! Oh. Let's see if anything happens when I do this. I just have to place it gently on my bed. Yeah. See, he's placed right there. Oh god, oh god! Oh. Oh. oh! We completed all of them! Hooray! And my final total is 117 years of bad luck. Great job, guys. Great. Oh, we did it. I can't. I cannot thank you so enough. Yeah. But for some reason, I wanted to up that number. By a lot. And that was by speed running all of these superstitions. Because if you do that, all the years they earn you will multiply instead of add to each other. Just, just watch. Hello, Daft Punk. Now is the segment in the video where we speed run doing every single bad luck habit. Because if you do all of them, like one after another, they multiply and then it adds to- I have no idea how many- bad luck years I have right now. But basically, here's the plan. I'm gonna hit the gritty under that thing, and then and then I'm gonna run to this table. All the pennies are tails up. I'm gonna crank a bunch of salt onto them, pick all the pennies up, then I'll slap my shoes on the table, and then I'll hit you guys once again. Let's see how many years I can actually give myself. Three, two, one. I don't think I'm gonna get the world record at this rate. How do I get my shoes up? The final total is 294,117 years of bad luck, which is over 4,000 lifetimes. And I probably went a little overkill, but that's all right, because it's time to test my luck. And the first way is a simple coin flip. We're gonna fl uh, skip it and flip it this coin five times. I want to see how many times I can guess it correctly. I know it's a 50-50 chance, but if I'm unlucky, I get it wrong every single time. Okay, heads. I got it. That's some head. Ra Whoa, that's a head right there. Tails. Oh crap! Oh crud! It's head. Tails. Yeah, tails. Heads. It was tails. Tails. It's tails. Okay, I got three out of, I got a, how many is that, 60%? Yeah, I got 60% good, good luck. The coin flip didn't convince me that my luck was bad, so it's time to move on to the next test, which was Yahtzee, which means I have three chances to roll all the same number on five dice. And typically, if you get that, you are pretty lucky. Oh my God, that's unlucky. I got one, two, three, four, five, which is lucky in some cases. But in this case, no. I gotta stick with- I'm gonna stick with five. I think that five is the luckiest. None. One more. Okay, I did not get it in three tries. We'll see how long it takes. It took me seven tries to get a Yahtzee. That's not- that's not good. I'm gonna try that again. Seventeen. That was 17. I don't think I'm, uh, I don't think I'm getting a Yahtzee ever again. At this point, I was getting more and more convinced that my luck was bad. But it was time for the real test! The scratch-off tickets, which could potentially earn me 37,000 doubloons. I won absolutely nothing. Next one, we got this one. Hot, si hot seven. All right, my bad luck is starting to show. There's nothing, I didn't get anything. Two more left. I want to make at least a win on one of them. Once again, nothing, nothing. We're doing the Monopoly one now. This is the last one. I I have, I'm doubting these. D never buy scrap, these are horrible. 
No! I came out of this challenge with negative four dollars, a bruised head, and 294,117 years of bad luck. But I also didn't tell you my secret yet, which is that there's a bonus test to see if this bad luck is real, which is how good this video does. So if you made it this far into the video, you are proving that all of those years of bad luck are fake. And you can prove it to me by commenting, good luck and subscribing and having a day.